How to Make Money in Stocks by William O'Neill. First published in the 80s, written by William O'Neill, who founded Investor's Business Daily. It was based on his study of the market's best performers over the years. He literally unearthed the market's best performers and then he reverse engineered them to try and figure out what were the common characteristics among them. Okay, he used a combination of fundamental and technical uh, characteristics in order to develop what he called his can slim method. Okay, personally, I don't buy into the fundamental stuff. Um, he talks about earnings, earnings growth, which I find to be very misleading. Uh, sometimes companies beat earnings, stocks sell off. Sometimes they miss earnings, stocks rally. Uh, you just don't know. You don't. They, they 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 lower guidance just so they could beat. You just don't know what's factored in. So I find that earnings to be misleading. He likes them. Um, but on the technical side, I find his writing to be very, very good. Okay, he talks about technical setups, uh, relative strength, and his general trading theory. Uh, and in my opinion, it's spot on. His favorite pattern is a cup and, ha cup and handle pattern. Stock will sell off, come back up to, towards the high. It'll base at this higher level, either at, at the high, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. And then and he talks about how he trades those patterns. He talks about group strength and relative strength being very, very important, which I agree with. Uh, he talks about how he read a book written by Jesse Livermore, and, and it really hit him hard that the, I, the objective wasn't to be right, but was to really make a lot of money when you're right, to really maximize um, opportunities. Okay, This led him to develop a, a plan where he would average up into winners. If, he, if he, was, he was shown a profit, he would buy more of it, Okay, so he's averaging up. Uh, this is very similar to what I've talked about in Phantom of the Pits, which I've um, reviewed, where you have to add to your winners. You have to press the accelerator. You have to maximize gains when you have them. If you have five trades and four of them are doing okay, they're up a little, down a little, they basically cancel each other out, but you have one really good one, you've got to press it and you've got to maximize that opportunity. It's not, it's, not, it's not okay just to sit back and say, cool, I got a good one, it's working. No, you have to actually maximize the gains. So O'Neill talks about that. Uh, he warns about... He warns against diversification. He says diversification is what you do when you lack knowledge. Um, uh, and from this, he, he, he says, you know, if you have $100,000 to trade, you should only be in four or five stocks at any, any given time. Okay. And he talks about how when he first started out and he didn't have a lot of money and he traded on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, if he had four positions and he wanted to buy another one, he forced himself to sell one of his existing positions in order to make room for the new one. Okay, this process of constantly selling his worst position in order to add a new one meant that he was always in really good stocks. Okay, he never just sat in laggards that weren't doing anything. Um, lots of great stuff in here. Again, I don't buy into the fundamental stuff, but I think his his talking and his teaching about the technicals are spot on, and his his teaching about the just trading theory in general is top notch. Um, highly recommend it. Get it, read it. Good luck. See you next time.